Hi, in this video we'll be looking again at income elasticity of demand, but this time it will be in the context of normal and inferior goods and how our YED sort of ties into what we think about normal and inferior goods. So in the previous video we gave an introduction to YED and we said that this was our equation where we have percentage change in quantity demanded divided by a percentage change in real income and this will give us some number which is our YED. And we also went through an example which I think had a YED of 2 and we said that this was elastic but it was also a positive YED and so we can link this what a positive YED means and we call these normal goods. And as we've got the bullet point on the side here that these have positive YED. So what does this mean? Well, it means that an increase in incomes will cause an increase in demand or in quantity demanded. So if we look at our equation, we have, say, an increase in quantity demanded on the top and we have an increase in real income on the bottom. So we divide two positives and we're going to get a positive outcome and then we'll have a positive income elasticity of demand. And so this is sort of intuitive that an increase in incomes should cause an increase in demand for goods because, well, we have more money to spend on things. And so that ties into this next bullet point, which says that most goods are normal, and that's what we might expect. And we might expect that every good would be a normal good, but that's not actually the case, as we'll get onto in the future, or, well, during this video. What we also note is that a higher income elasticity of demand means a larger increase in demand for any given change in real income. So again, if we look at our equation, if we have some change in real income, if we increase our percentage change in quantity demanded as a result of that change in income, we're going to have a larger outcome or output and we'll have a larger YED. So a high YED means that any change in real income is going to give a very big increase in demand. And as a consequence of this, our luxury goods will have a YED greater than 1 because these are more elastic. And as a result, as we talked about elastic price elasticity, this will give us a flatter demand curve. So if we think about luxury goods, these could be like luxury hotels. The, if we increase our incomes, our demand for luxury hotels is going to increase a lot because people have more money to spend on, say, frivolous things that they don't necessarily need. Nobody really needs a luxury hotel, but if you've got a high income, it'll be worth buying that. So this normal good concept with positive YED will give us this diagram here, where we have an upward sloping demand curve. And this might seem weird because we've been looking at demand curves with price on our vertical axis, but this is a completely different demand curve because on this vertical axis we have income here. So this seems to make a bit more sense that as we increase our incomes along this axis, we're also going to increase our quantity demanded. So we have an upward sloping demand curve with normal goods, but we're talking about on in our income and quantity space, not our price and quantity space. So that's normal goods and how those link in to YED. The second type of good we'll be looking at is inferior goods and as it's different from normal goods we will note that these have a negative YED. What does this mean? Well it means that an increase in incomes is going to cause a decrease in our demand for this good. Now why would this be the case? Well we can look at the example of low quality goods. So if we have an increase in incomes in our economy people are going to spend more on things but they might not spend more on low quality goods as instead of buying more of these they will substitute away from them and buy high quality goods instead. If we use our hotel example again, if we think of say a motel, and that in America we don't really have many motels where I live, but we could also think of say hostels which is a very cheap living accommodation, they might only cost a few pounds per night and so if our incomes increase, we might not buy, well, we might not pay for hostels, and instead we will just buy hotels. And if our inc incomes increase a lot, we might buy luxury hotels instead. And so our 
demand is going to increase for luxury hotels and it's going to decrease for motels and hostels. And so an increase in incomes is going to cause a decrease in demand. We can also think of things like clothing. So stores like Primark, which sell low quality clothing, these tend to do quite well in recessions. Whereas companies like Gucci or any luxury clothing, they will not do well in a recession because demand decreases in a recession, as with many goods which we think of as normal. However, inferior goods, they will tend to do better when we decrease our incomes, people will tend to increase their spending on inferior goods because they have lower income, so they'll buy some lower quality goods to save money. So inferior goods, we have a negative YED, so on our income and quantity space, we're going to have a negatively sloping demand curve, which we may be used to downward sloping demand curves because we're thinking about price and quantity, but again, remember that this is different. As our incomes increase, our quantity demanded is going to decrease, so we have an upward sloping demand curve. On it, not an upward sloping demand curve, that was completely wrong. We have a downward sloping demand curve, obviously. So if, and if we look at our YED formula again, we have percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in incomes. If we increase our incomes, we're gonna have a decrease in demand and so we have a negative divided by a positive, which is going to give us a negative. And so our YED is negative for inferior goods. So that will wrap up this video. Hopefully it was useful. Please leave a like if it was. Make sure to check out the playlist for more videos like this and subscribe to add some econ to your subscription feed.